So um, here is an example of constructing a differential equation with a specified general solution. Right? So how do we do this? Um, to do it, well, basically, we um, the, the idea is that we have a formula for, for y, right? So we just differentiate it and find the formula for y prime, right? So if this is y, then what is y prime? So then y prime is going to be 2t minus 2 plus c times uh, 3t squared, right? Well, but then um, the, the, the problem here is that uh, the, these two um, formula, the, the one for y and the one for y prime, they are not differential equations. So they are, uh, because they involve the, this unknown parameter c. So in order to get a differential equation, we need to um, exclude c from these two equations. So how can we do this? Uh, that there is no universal rule to do it, so we just uh, have to deal it um, on a case by case basis. So in in particular in, in this case, um, so if if we multiply the first equation, the equation for y by um, minus one, uh, sorry by minus three over t, right? So then notice that uh, the uh, coefficient at c is going to be minus 3 um, times t square and the the similar coefficient at c at y prime is also going to be uh, 3 t squared so which means that when we add them together um, the two terms with c will cancel each other and the c will disappear right so this is the idea okay so now uh, we are going to take the second equation so the equation for y prime and add the first equation which is the equation for y multiplied by minus 3 over t. Okay? So the left-hand side is y prime uh, minus 3 over t y equals. So what is the right-hand side? In the right-hand side, we have 2t. So this comes from y prime uh, minus 3 over t times t squared, so which is minus 3t. Then I have minus 2 in the... Um, uh, that, that comes from y prime, then minus 2t multiplied by minus 3 over t. So then minus and minus give, gives me plus, so I will get plus 6. And then um, I have plus c times 3t square from y prime and minus c times 3t square from, from y. So the, these two will cancel each other. And this part disappears. And whatever remains is our answer. So y prime minus 3 over t y um, equals 2t um, minus 3t, so minus t plus 4. And this is the answer. Well, notice that strictly speaking, we know that um, this um, logic shows us that every solution of the form y equals t squared minus 2t plus c t cube is going to be a solution of the given differential equation, right? But we don't know if it is really the full general solution because the differential equation that we that, that we constructed could have uh, some some other solutions too, hypothetically, right? So in order to to keep, we 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 need to to verify. And the easiest thing is to do is to do it in Wolfram Alpha. Um, this is a linear differential equation, so I hope that you know how to solve it. Um, so uh, y prime minus three over t times y. So y prime minus three uh, over t times y equals minus t plus four. Minus t plus four. So let let let, let let's see if this is really the answer. So then Wolfram Alpha is going to uh, solve it. So t square minus 2t plus c times t cube. So t square minus 2t plus c times t cube, correct.